Mike check one, two, and two. Mike check what he gonna do. Look, little nappy head kid from the streets of okay, South. This Central. is not just a freestyle video. Oh, excuse pencil. me, excuse me. Anyway, wow. <laughs> anyway, thank you all for this special Creator Awards, uh, Creator CAC, the Creator Awards channel. Um, bringing you the best in creator news, I, but the, you know that, that that's the homie right there, Tony Polanco. Shout out to him. Oh, snap. He's always rapping. He's always rapping. Uh, author, traveler, CEO of um, you know the number one itinerary and Virus Entertainment, and uh, also co CEO on the uh, uh, MMP. Am I right on that co CEO or yeah, yeah. co CEOing it out? Okay. Which is production company, Virus Entertainment, entertainment company, number one itinerary, a travel media company, travel company. Um, and uh, yeah, man, yes, there's so much going on right now with creativity in America and the state of... What, what do you think about the state of just creative media arts and everything, things that are going on right now with them? Um, um, you know, because there's so many, there's so many artists doing so many interesting things. You know, there's Netflix, HBO Max, there's all the stuff on Spotify, everything that's going on on social media, TikTok. How are you feeling about this creativity? What's going on? Creativity is good. Uh, I know with the pandemic, is helping people connect through art. Um, and just right now, it's the prime time to really get the energy out there. Because we get music and entertainment in every form you can think of from your phone, laptop. So everywhere you go, it's going to be a form of entertainment. Mm -hmm. um, but so creatively, what does that put you on as far as a mission? And what's your mission out here as a specific creator? What, what are you trying to do then? What needs to be created? What is being created by you? Oh, man. The, the goal is to... Create space? The goal is to reclaim space. Mm-hmm. Um, my story has been lost through a lot of drama, trauma, and... What do you mean by your story? Your your specific story? Your life story? No, when I say my story, my art, my passion for creativity... Lost how? I mean, you put art out there, no, people no, see it. Let me finish. Yeah. It is the, the ancientness, the... How would I put it? The tra tra traditional value of it mm -hmm. has changed over time mm -hmm. as I grew up. Um, I remember just having this pure love for the art mm -hmm. with no interest in making money, no interest in you no know, what people think, just putting mm -hmm. out real art. Mm -hmm. And right, When you were young? When I was young, yeah. Acting, theater, awesome. uh, filming, of course, photography, f rapping, freestyling. Yeah. Um, that's what we used to do back in the day, back in 2003, 2004. Right. Um, we was in, man, we was in DeSoto, Texas. Out of all places, DeSoto, Texas. And, mm. you know, I used to rap there. I used to rap in South Central LA. Uh, you know, it's, it's so interesting. Uh, so you say you want to bring that kind of level of energy back. The same way you were operating back then, that's how you want yeah. to be operating now. Yeah, which see, is that pure, sounds cool because I yeah. like that idea, you know, and I like how people are doing that with the freestyle. Even how you see, I cut him off, but he started off freestyle. <laughs> and I think that kind of random energy is actually a lot more, you know, because we live everything like, you know, it's a reality show sometimes. And sometimes we put ourselves into boxes of those sh reality shows when really there's not that much reality in them. And it's like, what do you really get up to? What do you really do on a daily basis? What's your actual natural process of flowing? And for me, yeah, you know, freestyling is a really big part of the stuff. Because I know as a kid, like, you get to freestyling groups. But that also means that you think, you know, because you saw something. And so you were freestyling by yourself at first. And... You know, yeah. even learn how to drive, you know, driving around freestyling it's, it's, by it's yourself. There's so many chapters to the creative levels. Um, mm -hmm. you and, know. you know, that reminds me of, like, making something and then just being excited to show some people. Yeah. You know, because I remember I would do, I would, like, type stuff up and print it and just be excited to, like, show people that I had, like, mm -hmm. created some stuff. So the space is definitely there right now with the, mm -hmm. for the creatives. It's just where you, where you want, what space is it for you? Mm -hmm. And for me, it's just been a long time coming. Yeah. Um, I, I've learned with, with creative art, instead of before I just put stuff out, you know, you know, I don't care what people think, which shouldn't be the point. But now it's like, all right, we, we it's, it's a process. It's, it's a method to it. And 
is very selective, very selective yeah. on the type of creative stuff we're putting out now because we've been doing this and this is nothing new and we've been taking to it on the level. So going back I'm to tra for, traditional uh, creatives, man. Yeah, because you put so much good stuff out. So I'm definitely excited for all the the next the next few years of what your creativity is going to produce because I, I know it's going to be something. I know it's going to be cool. Um, I was just thinking something, but I forgot it. I was thinking, oh, if you could sum yourself up, all right, because you're, you know, you got the filmmaker, the author, the rapper. If you could say you were the most what rapper, like, all right, Tony Polanco is the most blank rapper. What would you put in that blank? Tony Polanco is the most romantic. The most romantic. Yes. All right, so yes, K Camp. The most romantic. He's coming for K Camp's head. He's coming for Jacquees. Jacquees is not a rapper. Yeah, uh, but what, what I'm saying is like, but you're, you're I'm saying a you're huge more... romantic. Like I'm okay. a poet. Yeah. And part of that is be, me being romantic. most romantic most rapper. All right, romantic. now if you're I, gonna, not just even yeah. rapper, just most romantic. I'm, I'm all right. And how about Beerus Entertainment? If you're gonna say it's the most blank company, what would you say? It's the most man most diverse the the most diverse i like that because it's true you got jamaican uh artists on there you got artists like me who fit into no genre you got mr composition renowned south texas hip-hop or something you got your so yeah you definitely got a lot of diversity in there okay uh number one itinerary if you're gonna say it's the most something brand what would you say freshest innovative freshest and innovative. freshest there's no travel brand like that that literally gives you the documentaries and gives you the travel plans and helps you actually get to location and helps you I'm gonna navigate give you a behind the on ground how in the location. One, itinerary stands out from every other vlogger or just travel company. Okay. Like, I'm the one literally with the camera majority of the time, um, Passport Polanco, and with the camera, like, I'm in places where people will be uncomfortable. And it's like, I was in the middle of Santiago de Cuba, west side of uh, Cuba. And I had a stabilizer, had my camera, just doing what I do, for, you know, for number one itinerary. And thing. this Cuban guard started looking at me. And I think my friend and my wife started getting worried. It was like, don't even don't worry. Like, don't. But me being me, I'm getting that shot in. Like, I'm getting the shot in. That's what being a creative is. You're like, this is the prime opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that's just another way of reminding myself, like, we, we taking it back. It's, right, we guys. taking it back. That's enough. I just wanted to make sure you got a good dose. Beerus Entertainment, they never miss a shot. Check them out. Thanks for watching. Like that. Please be more reasonable. I can't change it up like that.